Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren. Today we're gonna get right into our project. Real quick, I wanna thank Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be using some paint out here. It's probably not what you expected. We've already painted the bricks here, and now I'm gonna be painting our porch. So before we get started on painting the porch, I need to do a couple of things in order for it to look its best and for the paint to adhere the best that it possibly can. Since it will be out in the elements, that is a very important step. So my first job, I am going to be cutting off these, these little metal pieces that were a part of the previous railing before we took the deck off. At, well, before they probably even added that deck the, in the first place, they had to have cut these metal posts off. So I am going to grab my angled grinder and we're gonna work on getting those off so that we have a nice flat surface to start with. So I picked up an angled grinder here and this is electric. I did try to use another type that I had. It was battery powered and it just honestly didn't do the job. So I got this, it's about a $50 tool. So, you know, a little investment. I'll have the tool for the rest of my life. So that is good investment to me. So I'm gonna put this together right quick and then we will get to grinding. So two things, and sorry about the leaf blower. I can't really do anything about it. It's fall in Nebraska. So two things though. One, it worked. Okay, three things. One, it worked. Two, it, you need a lot of strength to use this tool. So I keep having to take breaks and like, you have to hold pretty tight and you know give it some pressure things like that, but it's working, so that's one good thing. And then three, I am going to be putting on some ear plugs because this is very loud and I can like hear my ears ringing. So I'm gonna do some ear protection and we're gonna continue on with the rest of these. And I can already tell that I'm gonna be very sore from this tomorrow. All right, so between me and Neiman, we got all six of the little posts that were sticking up, all grinded off, sawed off, and now there's just a tiny little teeny tiny bit that's protruding out. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I switched out the attachment and it's a grinder now as opposed to a cutoff blade. So I'm gonna be able to grind this down so that it's a little bit more flush and then we will have a completely flat surface here on the porch. All right, done. We're done with the grinding of the metal, um, I don't even know what I would call them, just like the little metal pieces that were sticking out out of the porch. So. This grinder came in clutch. Like I said, it's like a $50 tool and totally worth it. Um, and then again, I'll have it in my arsenal of tools for the next time I might need some type of grinder or cutoff tool. My next job is to get this whole porch cleaned off. So I'm gonna bust out the power washer and we'll get this clean and prepped for paint. We're ready. I went ahead, got the whole power washer ready. I got the uh, premium wash in there as well. It's basically just pressure washer, fluid uh, detergent that is meant for the actual power washer. And it'll just give uh, the porch just a little bit more of a clean than just plain old pressure uh, water. So we got it hooked up to the hose. I'm gonna go turn that on and I'm gonna get to it. I'm excited to see the difference. I hope you can tell uh, that I am doing this. I hope it's worth it. Now that we've got everything cleaned with the power washer, that had time to dry overnight. So it's time to paint. And like I told you earlier, 
I'm gonna be using Beyond Paint for this. I've used Beyond Paint several times throughout all of the projects that we've done. Um, I've especially enjoyed using them on kitchen cabinets, but I also know that Beyond Paint is a great option for painting a porch because it is super durable. Now, whichever porch paint you use, you know, it's going to get a lot of wear and tear because it's outdoor. So, although typically Beyond Paint doesn't require a sealer, since it will be outdoors, I actually did grab their sealer as well so that we can be sure to just have the most protection possible when it'll be out here in the elements. I'm gonna be painting the porch licorice, which is Beyond Paint's black paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready and we're gonna get to work. So I am gonna be using Beyond Paint's kit that comes with, uh, or that's on the website that you can order. And by the way, if you use our code FFT, you can get some money off of your order with Beyond Paint, whether you're painting cabinets or a porch or furniture or whatever you wanna use the paint for, we'll have a link down below in the description. So I'm gonna just open this up and we're gonna get started. Beyond Paint recommends that you use a roller to roll their paint on. So I am going to do what they recommend so that I've got the best results when my paint dries. And then also in the spots that maybe you can't get your roller to fit, they recommend that you use a chip brush to do some motions like this. It's called stippling. And you just go up and down with your brush and apply the paint in that way. And then one thing that I want to remind you guys about Beyond Paint is that sometimes it can be a little bit chunkier than normal paint and it kind of globs out like jello, if you will. Don't be alarmed with that. It's supposed to look like that because it has so many things built into it, such as a primer and even a top coat. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some in there. So since the concrete is so uh, porous, I am taking my chip brush and really stippling into all the pores to get down in there where the roller can't reach. Alright, so to be completely honest, I wasn't sure how I was going to like this, but I actually do really like it a lot and I'm so glad that I chose to do black. Now, like I said, we are going to do the sealer. So I did do two coats of the black as you guys saw and then I am going to be using Beyond Paint's multi-purpose sealer right here. It has a light satin sheen, so it shouldn't be too shiny, which will actually really help like when, it, when this gets wet, it won't be so slippery because it'll have that like really kind of more matte light satin. So it's on the more matte side than the satin side at that. So I'm gonna do the exact same process with the top coat that I did with the paint. I'm gonna roll it on where it needs to be rolled on and then we're gonna stipple it into the places that I can't quite reach with my roller. You guys, this project is almost done. It's just taking me about a day to get painted. So I'm gonna finish it up. It's about that time. Got two coats of the top coat all on there. It's looking great, it's gotta dry. I did end up putting a little bit of the black Beyond paint into the sealer so that it wouldn't be so cloudy. And it's drying, it's drying very nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the painter's tape so that we can get a better view of how it looks. Ta-da! Done! 
fun and I even did a little decorations so that we could get the whole feel of just how awesome this front porch is going to be. Be sure and get subscribed because we are going to be putting on the railings next for safety and to just finish off the complete look of my vision for the front of this house and the full curb appeal. I am really glad that I found that right tool, the cutoff tool to take away uh, those little metal nubs that were from the previous railings. You know, talking about that tool really reminds me that sometimes power tools can be a little bit scary and a little bit nerve wracking, especially if you've never used them before. Whether it be a saw cutoff tool like that, a miter saw, or even something as simple as a drill, it's okay to be nervous as long as you're taking those safety precautions, reading all of the directions that are appropriate for that specific tool. Just go for it, take your time. It doesn't have to be a race. So get out there, try some new tools coming up here this week. I would love to hear about it as well. If you wanna follow us over on Furniture Flipping Teacher on Instagram, we would love to hear from you and you can see all the behind the scenes things that we're doing in real time as well. And last but not least, reminder that you can get your Beyond Paint on their website. I'll link it down below and you can also use my code FFT for 15% off, which is a huge savings. You guys, I don't do this very often, but they gave us a code for 15% off and you'd also be helping us out if you use our link, which will be down below in the description. Thanks again to Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video. We'll see you next week and we'll see you on the flip side.